the Constitutional Convention, Philadelphia, Summer 1787. Mr. Mason, I've made my decision. But Mr. Hamilton, we need a Bill of Rights. There will be no such thing in my Constitution. But I do think we should rewrite the whole thing. The Articles helped us sign a treaty, but our central government is too weak. I don't care, you chubby chops. How dare you, Mason! As a Federalist, I speak for all of us. We need a new Constitution. Have you seen what Daniel Shea has done? Everyone will soon rebel against the Articles, and since the central government is too weak, we won't be able to stop them. Mason, think about that. Well, Mr. Hamilton, I see not one, not two, but three problems with this Constitution. The Constitution dangerously weakens the states to where the federal government could get too powerful, and we'll just end up like Britain. We need a Bill of Rights. There are no protections for basic freedoms in our current government. Mr. Hamilton, all I ask is for a wise and just government. We'll see how this turns out. Please, everyone, we have come to an agreement. There will be a new constitution. There is no need for the Articles anymore. <clears throat> but thanks to the Constitution, there will be a strong central government. There will be a president. The fear of a king becoming too powerful is too threatening. We will have a Bill of Rights because we do need a written list of freedoms that protects the rights of all citizens. Slavery will still be legal. We have also come to an agreement on the three-fifths debate. Slaves will be counted as three-fifths of a person. We have decided to go with the Virginia plan, so we will have three branches of government. The executive branch, which will be held by the president. The judicial branch, which will be held by the court system to interpret laws and make sure they are constitutional. We will also have a two-house legislature, which will consist of the House of Representatives and the Senate. This I give to you, your new country, finally united. All right, everyone gather around as Mr. Washington reads to you the preamble of the United States. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Now everyone, it's time to sign the Constitution. Washington. <laughs> you do know that my signature is more important. Really, Mason? Wow. But my signature will go down in history. Hey, you know what, George? You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> but we all know uh, who the better man is here. <laughs> Scene two, take seven, action. Oh, brother. <laughs> Yo, my entire Federalist board. You're miles now. This Federalist belong to you? And my man Jay, is he? This is my man Jay. He's small for the Constitution. But you, the anti Federalist, you hardcore. Where y'all from? Virginia. Virginia in the zone, y'all. That's a hardcore hood. But you want to go ahead and take my man Jay here. You go ahead, be smart. You're going to rewrite your Articles of Confederation. You're going to walk away, maybe get in your carriage. You know what I'm saying? Talk to the wheel. Let him wait, because he is out of force. Out. I can't restrain him. But I'm coming to save you to give him a chance to get back to a realistic level. Because we can be chilling in our own crib. You know, 
Boys to make you pin my carriage, call me back, put you on hold. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we've got to go.